hello and welcome to this video in this video i will explain what is mfa and how you can implement mfa in your php project uh, for this demonstration i have uh, implemented mfa in simplest core php and used this github repository so first of all what is mfa so MFA full form of MFA is multi-factor authentication that is a secure uh, security technology that requires user to provide more than just a password so in a nutshell uh, after providing username and password we also require one more authentication kind of we will be sending them an OTP on their mobile and they need to provide us that OTP in order to successfully log in into the system so it's a in a way uh, two step verification first in first step user will provide username and password while in the second step they will provide one time password that has been sent to them via uh, application or via sms so for this demonstration uh, we are going to use google authenticator app you can download it uh, links i will provide that in description <clears throat> I have installed this Google Authenticator repository in my system. Let me just walk you through step by step. First, we will be showing this as a form. In a form, I have installed Bootstrap as well, just to beautify the form. And first, we are showing the QR code, how this QR code is being generated. So for that, we are auto loading the repositories and then we are using google authenticator uh, this is to generate the secret token but because this is for the demonstration purpose i have just set it as a static this is bad practice generate new for each user so ideally we will be generating one token for each user and storing them in database ideally in users table so whenever we want to authenticate that user uh, after username and password we will fetch that user and with that we will be getting the secret token and from that secret token user will be verified later on when they provide the code input okay so coming back to this i have added the static secret and from that we are generating the qr code that qr code is being shown here so how you will authenticate the user so ideally after username and password once those combination is validated user will be redirected to new page uh, where they will be shown this uh, text box to add a time-based otp and from where we are going to get it so google has provided one app called google authenticator you can download it from app store or play store once installed you will see screen like this if you have already added authenticator for other uh, websites if not then you will be getting this plus icon you need to click on that and that will okay here in screenshot it is not shown but when you click on the plus icon it will open up the camera where you have to scan the qr code uh, shown here and that will add the line like this and this line like google surfing fan at the gmail.com that is coming from here so here you can add dynamic email address of the user as shown in the screenshots so that you can do and once you do that you will get uh, six digit passcode like this you have to submit that passcode in the form 
if I enter gibberish, it will say failed. But if I scan it in my mobile, and if I insert right OTP, and it says OK. So this is how it works. Let me just explain uh, how it works after the form submitted. So we are checking if the form is submitted or not. And then this line ensures that it verifies and returns whether it is a successful verification or whether it is failed. Here the number represents that at how many seconds it should refresh and check. So as of now I have added one minute of clock tolerance but you can remove this to keep it as a 30 second if you want to but I think one minute is enough. So this is how you can implement uh, Google Authenticator multi-factor authentication in your system. Do let me know if you have any questions I will be responding them via comment section in YouTube. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.